Yo, what's good guys? Uh, what I'm going to do right now is I'm going to show you how to swap a Sponson on your Sports Pal or Radisson. So what happens here, what's a Sponson? That's a Sponson. Sometimes beavers, bears, porcupines, all kinds of stuff, chew those up, tear them off, or you get them knocked off for some, for some other reason. And I'm going to take this one, install it, it's the same on a used one as it is on a new one. So I'll show you how that's done right now. So where you're going to want to install them, the holes should already be there if you've got it torn off your other canoe. And if the bolts are still there, you're going to have to take some bolt cutters and snip them off. Get you guys in there. right where you need to be. Your hardware kit's going to include 10 of these for each side, which is a 3 inch slot or Robertson head screw. Two washers for each bolt and a nut for each bolt. They're going to be spread out basically where your holes are already going to be. The only difference is we are going to have four eye bolts which are for holding your luggage cords that we wrap around the paddles. Now these washers have a rounded side and a sharper side. Just how they go through the punch. How you're going to put that up against the foam of the canoe is important. I'm going to get that light out of your face there hopefully. And take your bolt, go through so that the sharper edge is sticking away from the foam. Your very first bolt, you're going to take about three fingers, four fingers, whatever. I usually go about, whatever, two inches or so. And put it at the center of the foam and just push her straight through. On your end hole, push it on. Same thing with your washer on the inside. You're going to have the round side towards the liner. Always start with the ends, so I'm going to go do the other end. I run the foam up on top, so when I pull it down around the side to make sure it's nice and tight, it won't be that stuff all the way down. You have an oar lock right here that you're going to want to cut a little half moon shape. I'm going to use this tool, but you can do it with a jackknife. What you're doing is cutting out a little piece of foam that big, so that's going to drop right around your oar lock. With that done, I'm going to put the rest of my bolts in. They're all going to go from so the head is on the outside. The exception is going to be the eye bolts are going to be the eye part is on the inside of the canoe. So you're going to have little things sticking out over here, and we'll show you how to fix that at, at the end. Now. Your bolts are going to be not very tight off the start. You're going to require a little pair of pliers. If your fingers ain't strong enough, you can tighten these down by hand if you wish with a, your flat screwdriver and a pair of pliers. But this will suck it in. However, for time sake, I'm going to do it the way we do it here. So I'm going to tighten this down, show you how much bolt should be sticking out. Now you got this problem of these little things sticking out about an inch and a half. So how you get rid of that, take these vice grips, you're going to put them on but also not super super tight to the nut. You want a little bit of a space about an eighth of an inch. So that, where'd it go? So when I break this off, what's sticking out is going to be flush with the end of the nut. So I'm going to break 
every one of these hanging sticking out parts. I'm going to break them all off and just a pair of ice grips. Bend it till it breaks. Watch for sharp burrs. If there's a sharp burr, just give it a little smack, knock that off. And your canoe will have the spawns unreplaced.